Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 67 of my No GPS series. And in this one, we're going to take some truck beams to Kenworth and Portland. And looking at the map, this has the potential of being a complete train wreck. Let's get into it. So we're at the ups, and we need to come out and hang a left and hit this fuel stop because I'm running out of fuel. Once we do that, we're going to continue left out of there. And then first assumption that this is 30 east. So we're going to take that down here to the 405. Now, another assumption. If this is the 405, it should connect to the 5. I don't know if this is going to say 405 north. Bottom line is I need to keep the left here. I'm assuming by looking at this. And then we're going to take I-5 north. And this is where I've literally stared at this for damn near 20 minutes to try and figure this out. We're going to want this exit. I don't know what one. I'm assuming this one, third assumption, comes over here. And then is this an overpass? Or maybe this is an overpass and all of this is under the interstate? No clue. I want this exit. I just need to figure out whether I need to go left. And does this loop all the way around over here to here? Because then this one would come from this way up. I, see what I'm saying? I don't understand any of this. And again, it's frustrating, but this game wasn't designed to do this. So one of two things is going to happen. I'm going to make a wrong turn and we're going to end up at the Exxon Mobil. Okay, fine. I should be able to get across back over here to the Kenworth because this looks like you come out of here, hit this to take this around to get back on whatever this road is. And that's the other thing. I have no idea. I assume it attaches down here, but no clue what that even is. Bottom line is I need to get on this stretch of road so I can make this left and then this right into Kenworth. So what I actually wrote down is I'm assuming to go around here. So I have at end of ramp, take right, first left, and then right into Kenworth. See how this has the makings of a real shit show going on here? All right, and we're taking truck beams. I thought about abandoning this load. Uh, and I will show you why here. And so everything looks fine, right? See that white thing above my fender? This made it real damn complicated to make a thumbnail. So that sticker is actually, I messaged him, that sticker is actually for a load that goes on the neck when you have the deck option. So it's a bug, basically, and he's going to fix it, but I don't know if he had fixed it since. I mean, the decal, when you zoom in on the decal, if you're in the dev console, I mean, it's fantastic. Awesome quality. And look at that, we have straps on the bottom going that way, tensioning this. Good stuff, all right. Stop procrastinating. Let's get this done, and it's raining, so there's that, yay. Break off usually helps in order to move forward. I'm not going to lie, I forgot for a second there how the hell we got in here. There's my trailer at back there. I guess I didn't need to take it that wide. So I don't know how much talking there's going to be during this episode because I need to pay attention. Really? I didn't show the load info, did I? 27,000 pounds. Wow, that pulled a hell of a lot heavier than 27,000. Rush hour over now. Not really. 
that car can stop or run into me. Or I'm gonna run into that pillion because I didn't take it wide enough. We'll just... Okay. Train wreck already. Okay, now am I so stuck that I can't get undone here? And then there's a car over here, isn't there? Yeah. And then I have traffic coming that way. Awesome. Now, what the hell am I stuck on to where I can't move? Okay, so somehow it got... Alright. I need to look for the fuel stop. I was honestly debating of just stopping the video and restarting, but whatever. I'm going with it. Okay, I can't see shit because it's raining. It looks like it's up here on the left. And then I need to know how to get in there, so... Well, that left is not it, so we're going to continue straight. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't need that rear axle down in this trailer either. So let's put that up. And now let's figure out where I don't see a trigger there. Is there one over here? Yes. Okay. Now let's see how much shit we can run into here for not judging the angle properly. Wow, I hope they have long hoses. How are you going to fill dual tanks when there's no pump over there? Alright, let's get some fuel. want to see how much we're spending. Oh, I do have a slight update. Uh... I started a shit show logistics DTC on Truckee as well. So if you're someone that wanted to partake in it and didn't want to get a Trucks Book account or you already have a Trucks Book DTC or are in one and now you can join the Truckee one if you want to or you can run both like I am. Just giving people options. And it's set up for mileage, so it's not economy. It's not the real, the real stuff. It's just, just for fun. Again, all the info's in the Discord. I need to pop out of here and check. Yeah, see, look. I really wish I could do something about collision on camera. Like, could we remove the collision completely, please? This is still going to hit, probably. Okay, let's get rid of that shit off the screen. Come out here and take a left. I 
sure be nice when the sun would come out. Let's go, dummy. Alright, fine. Idiot. Alright, so now we're at the split. Stop raining. Probably not going to help me much, but it's better than it raining. Let's put the tire up on the sidewalk. See that car. Thirty East, perfect, Portland fifty six. All right. Rustic. So now our next Longview, Seattle. Okay, well, I'm guessing I want Seattle, right? Okay, I have to look. No, I don't. I should have known that. I've got so much shit going on in my head with this load right now. I'm trying to... Still in the wrong gear, but we're going to go with it. I just need to stop second guessing myself when I write shit down, honestly, but this game's kind of given me that complex of second guessing everything I write down. Because I knew we were looking for the 405, that, that intersection or that off ramp had nothing to do with 405. Trust me. 
Anyway, uh, putting logos on trucks. So that will be the first tutorial video, I guess, if you want to call it that, that I uh, work on. Well, I guess it'd be the second if you count Pizder's install video that he asked me to do for him, so. Okay. UOP. Alright, got it. Portland discovered. Alright, well that's the UOP. I remember seeing that on the map. Somewhere down here over to the right, I believe, is a garage that you can buy. Oh no, that's the UOP. I remember seeing that, and now we're getting into this freaking spaghetti mess. Junction 405, perfect. Low clearance, don't need to worry about it, we're good. I want 405 north to Seattle. Or, yep, yeah, alright, the bottom one did say Seattle. Again, it's a good thing I don't have a heart monitor on right now, because holy buckets. I should have probably downshifted, but... See, and I... All this stuff that you're seeing here, I have a feeling that this is kind of what that exit off of I-5 is going to be like. That's fun during rush hour. Okay, so why didn't you take eight? There we go. figure your spaghetti mess out yet game although I haven't delivered yet so let's not get too confident and the other cool thing is we're deliver delivering delivering uh, delivering at a Kenworth so I'll just let that marinate for those that have been watching a while I don't know possible new paint scheme coming in episode 68. Well, since you guys don't want to go, how about if I just go? Alright, so take right, end of ramp, first left. Well, I wrote down first left. So, that's what we're taking. It appears to go off in a never never land straight ahead, so. And then, first right. 
mileage it was down a little bit. Should be a Kenworth sign. Oh, look at that. Oh, I, I guess I don't need to wait. I can go right on red. I'm not going to lie, I actually kind of impressed myself on that one. It's got to be back here somewhere. Oh. Really? Well, you can F off, game. Alright, so what I need to do is... Let me slow this down so I can raise up here. And then come back. This is going to be rough, just for the turnaround radius. So I'm basically going to have to come in here, hug to the right, and then loop back around like I'm going back out, and then bend that bitch in there is really all I can do. All right, now which lane do I want to go in? I'm gonna go. In the, I'm gonna go in the outbound. Make sure, just you know, just in case anybody's coming out. I may have already messed up. No, I know what I can do. I'll just go the other way. I'll do this way and I'll hug it on the driver's side. Other thing I need to do is make sure that that rear... See, look at that. I... Okay, whatever. Camera. Frickin' work with me. Shit. Okay, so was... Okay, now the axle's up. So apparently it was already up and I put it down. All right, anyway. All right, focus now, Ty. Let's, uh, we need to spin this around because there's no way I'm gonna get spun around and set up at a 45 degree angle properly. You wanna see how bad this is right now? Oh, 
Alright, where the hell is my trailer at now? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Now, part of this is there's a post right down there. So let me... Because I need to do it this way. So I need to clear that post. Hit the curb. Okay, we're clear that. Here's the other thing I need to be mindful of. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to do this like I normally would, but see how this is kicking out? Look where the ass end of that uh, truck, my truck is going to go. It's going to go right into this other, yep. So if I don't start doing this now, oh my goodness, I may have to do something else here. Now maybe this is going to work. The problem is this trailer is in that bend and it's just going to keep pivoting like that and now just completely piss me off. I really wish you could just set this camera and forget it. You know, like Ron Popeil, set it and forget it. And have him, instead of having it freaking move with you. Now, I did that, but I'm not doing that right there. It's moving with me, and I don't really want it to. Okay, that was better. Still not out of the woods, though. Could you imagine if we had the 305 wheelbase truck trying to do this? Alright, now I need to get under it. Okay, that's weird. There's like a point to where if you don't get under it sooner, kind of like right there. Like, the trailer was not maneuvering the way I thought it would. I made one small adjustment, and then it went completely... Not how I expected. I think we're going to get it though, folks. And my apologies. I was really going to do this from inside, but... I mean, I guess for those that are new to the game or maybe don't understand the angles and all that, maybe this view helps you out more. I don't know. I will tell you, it's harder for me to back up in that view than it is normally, though, so there's that. Alrighty, so let's shut her down. I guess I can shut my flashers off, too. We will empty out. Oh, look at that. Job completed and submitted to the VTC hub. That's trucky. And also just for those that are curious, see down at the bottom how the overlay just popped up. Now, if you guys want that back, since I'm doing the whole trucky thing again, I can, I can put that information on the screen. I used to have that in my Road to 5 Million series, but I decided to have my screen as clean as possible in this one. I mean, there's nothing on there that gives me any advantage just shows how many miles I've gone over there the minutes left that's the actual time it is right now and then it tells you how many minutes in real time that you have and then basically just has a fuel gauge is all
So, anywho, let's get to the important shit here, shall we? We have Portland Gone 102. Now, I'm not gonna check current company job offers or anything like that because, number one, you're going to go back here. We're going to go back here. Attempt to get out of here. <laughs> the more I'm getting used to this Toby Eye Tracker 5, again, not an ad, just giving you my thoughts. I'm liking it. So, like, for that, all I did was I kind of sat up in my seat to look. This is still going to hit the side of that building, isn't it? And the gate. There's something weird about the tracking on this, I think. Unless I'm just an idiot. I mean, I used to pull RGNs. Now, granted, they weren't triple axle, but still, I've got the back axle up. Okay, now, now are we good? All right. Holy buckets. Apparently, I need to go back to school. through a new CDL course. I mean, to be fair, my CDL did expire and I never renewed it, so. Not that that means anything because you don't have to go through another course to renew it. So what we're gonna do here, folks, is we're gonna park right here on this service icon. We're gonna run in and talk to the body shop. But first, we will do the time change for our break. And depending on, it's 4.30. So we'll just do zero 06, but depending I may have to do a uh, 34 hour because I don't know how long the shop's going to take. Oh, and my air pressure's low. There we go. Yeah, so with that. Ladies and gentlemen, you will see a new paint job in episode 68. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 67 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.